<laughs> Welcome back to Flipper Flicks. I was thinking real hard on whether or not I wanted to do an intro, and then Adam did that whole ASMR thing that you guys won't ever hear, but yeah. I heard, and then I just lost it. And I'm Adam. I'm Sam. I'm Tim. And I think your intro worked perfectly for what we watched, because it was just <laughs> silence. Yeah. Right? Awkward silences <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> So we watched Snow White, A Tale of Terror, and there were some interesting synopsises out there. I think Wikipedia was like a more accurate telling of the grim fairy tale, and I was like, is it? And then (laughs) the fucking one on IMDb is a tongue twister. It was like the sentence structure didn't make any sense at all, which I feel like is how IMDb's always is. So I'm going to use Rotten Tomatoes, but if you fancy yourself a giggle, you can look at those other synopsises. This one says, an innocent young woman finds refuge from her wicked stepmother, Sigourney Weaver, in parentheses, with yeah. seven forest-dwelling outcasts. Which, were there seven of them? I, I felt like count. there were less. I, so, I thought it was six. Yeah. Like, I thought there were less. I don't know why. It just seemed like there were less than seven, but I was like you, Tim, and I agree. I had, like, just figured there were seven, but I never counted yeah. them. Yeah, it was just kind of an assumption because of Disney's. Yeah, but it looked like less people. I don't know why. They didn't spread them out enough to make them look like seven. I can only picture five of their faces. Right? Two of the old people looked the same. Yeah. There was like a priest old dude, and then an old dude with something going on with his eye. And then there was the main dude, Rolf. Then there was the dude that Mm -hmm. got kicked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there was the actual dwarf. And then there was the dread dude. There was the dread dude. And then there was an oaf. Yeah, the oaf guy. So there's seven. Okay, there you go. Look at us. We did it live before your ears. We <laughs> solved it. <laughs> but this one, if you care to watch it, we rented it. It looks like it was rentable on Amazon. Google yeah. all the likes. Yeah. yeah. This one is an interesting one. Like the whole background on it. Because it was originally made to go to theaters. But then it didn't. Oh, <laughs> awkward. Yeah, it was a TV movie premiering oh on gosh. Showtime. Oh, okay. I don't really know why. It didn't really, it didn't specify. It was just like, this movie was supposed to go to theaters, but then went, premiered on Showtime. And apparently people love this movie online. Yeah. That was another thing that came up when I did the synopsis. Somebody was just like asking on Reddit, like, oh, is this a good horror film? And people were like, yes, absolutely. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh. People are like, Sigourney just fucking kills it. I'm like, yeah, that's because it's Sigourney, man. Yeah, it's Sigourney. (laughs) It's like, back to last episode. Back Movie to sucked, every episode. But Sigourney was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter what it is. She's going to nail it. Yeah. yeah. How does she not miss? It's crazy. I know. Like, it's crazy. Everybody misses once, right? It's like Walton Goggins, you know? Yeah. Doesn't miss. True. That's because he plays character. Like, character, he plays special characters. Out, specific character character. type characters. Yeah. yeah. But still, he's really good at it. He is. <laughs> yeah, they're more outlandish and whatnot. It's his teeth. It, yeah, <laughs> his teeth definitely help. His accent helps, and his just overall charisma is really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Lost him playing baseball as a kid. I read about him. I don't, oh, those are like dentures. Which is why it yeah. looks so yeah. crazy. Oh yeah, he talks about that too. Oh yeah, he's but, open about it. He doesn't know. give a shit. No. But this is about Sigourney Weaver's performance as the evil queen. Yeah, and like yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to go back to your thought that it's like a TV movie because it kind of does give me like PBS vibes back in the day. <laughs> I don't know why, yeah. but like I guess maybe it's just like a lower budget coupled with the fact that 25 it's... million. Oh, see, but I don't think it looked like 25 million. Well, Sigourney in the, in the 90s was costing 5 million herself. And anytime you do think like about a fantasy that, movie think about like the <laughs> costuming and the makeup and all of that but like the sets for some reason reminded me of like pbs I don't yeah know why. this was <clears> the whole setting kind of the feel of it yeah that kind of medieval but you can see the where the money was spent like oh yeah there's a lot of detail and everything like all oh the clothing, yeah everything was very detailed i mean they won and they were nominated for an emmy for costume and makeup two emmys costumes and makeup, like two separate ones. I mean, Sigourney's right. old age witch makeup Dude. was wild. Dude. <laughs> that was pretty, well, it was good too because it was almost like you could see her in it. Yeah. But like you at the same time, it's like you could easily be fooled by that. Yeah. If I showed like, you a picture, not like like at a random time, you didn't, you had never seen this, but you're like, who is this actress? I wouldn't have been. Yeah. You couldn't have. I couldn't have guessed. 
Mm-mm. No. Especially with the gnarly teeth. <laughs> oh, those teeth, yeah. man. And then, like, she popped those teeth in during, like, a regular scene. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, right. God damn I it. Would, yeah, you could definitely tell they were, like, stuck in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they did they not look comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this whole, she really wanted to play the evil queen. But she wanted to portray her more as, like, a mother. Like, somebody who wants to be a mother at first. Okay. So, like, you can see her, like, giving the do- um, Snow White the dress and, like, right. trying to be more motherly. And then she has her miscarriage and shit just rolls downhill. Yeah. But she just, she always thinks it's crazy that the king will marry this crazy bitch that's fucking killing people constantly. <laughs> so she wanted her to be, like, relatable in the beginning? Yeah, she wanted a <laughs> relatable fair. motherly figure at the beginning. I mean, yeah. I, I I could think, see that. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And especially at the beginning, like she's clearly trying to be like the stepmom bribe your love with like a puppy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. her character is completely relatable until you start her just going crazy every other scene. Like it'll pan to like Snow White or Lily and then it'll pan back and she's doing something crazy and her hair is getting bigger and crazier. Oh, yeah. Right. And it's just like the juxtaposition was fucking hilarious. It's so good. Yeah, and like Gustav, I still don't know what happened to his tongue. Yeah. Or his mouth. He couldn't talk at first. He was a mute. And yeah, I don't I don't know. And was he supposed to like portray the standard huntsman role? I still don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I was wondering if like the apple that she gave Snow White, she kind of gives her like what paralysis and she can't talk. And yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. could she have concocted some sort of spell for Gustav when he misbehaved and like that's why he can't talk? Yeah. Dude, she like paralyzed everybody in that goddamn castle. I know. Yeah. It was wild. Poor Elsa sitting outside and gets a fucking burning candle to the eye socket. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then they're all sitting in the chapel, just like silent and rigid when oh, she yeah. brings mm-hmm. like the dad in. And I was like, are you guys all like dead inside like what's the deal with them i couldn't tell yeah what she i just did figured it was some kind of spell yeah yeah something to deal with what she put in the soup the one time and all that stuff oh mm. for sure i was like you're adding some nice cumin or tum- turmeric right, <laughs> yeah, the the stew. Yeah. <laughs> it's her special season it's her special ingredients yeah no i thought a good touch with that though is she pulled the lady over and she's like cover your hair and yeah. my thought was to that was like because if hair gets into it, it ruins her spell <laughs> or you know, oh. something like that. Oh. I thought that was just her being controlling. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I, I I don't know. I leaned more towards it being like deeper and, and the fact that it, like their spells are very particular, you know, like yeah. witchy spells and stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. Particular like, about hair, this, that. And yeah, they're like, like three pieces of uh, <laughs> an old man's hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only three, though. And like, or the seed of the father and the blood of the father. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was. It's always so weird with these things. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just t- let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay. They were blessed by everybody naked in bed. Oh my god, I forgot about that scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> like, and then and then Lily just is like, I'm gonna throw the whole thing in her face. Like, yeah. Like an entire cup of water. But she's so young at that point. Like, what do you expect? I know. It was just hilarious. I'm like, what? Is he going to go chase after her butt ass naked through his castle? <laughs> uh, yeah. Doi. <laughs> and, then, and then later, <laughs> the night of the miscarriage, he's dancing with, um, um, the king is dancing with uh, Sigourney, evil queen. And she's like, must we always be wondering about where Lily is? I'm like, yeah, it's his daughter. <laughs> Like, like right. checks bro, out, bro. Like, <laughs> she's not that old either at that point. She's I know. not like a teenager. Like, yeah, got to be a little worried. About and then her. this teenage girl is being shipped off to marry this dude that's thirty. Yeah, yeah. I know. Standard medieval things. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so we talked about how this movie got nominated for an Emmy for makeup and costume hair, the works. Yeah, Sam Neill's hair. As Frederick. <laughs> was it real? Fake? Who's it to was say? Fake. It was fake. <laughs> definitely fake. <laughs> that was a tube. Who's to say? It was just like, I was just like, I couldn't take him seriously. Yeah. No. 
His hair looked wild on him. And then the doctor's hair was kind of the same way. But the worst Mm -hmm. offense to me was fucking Lily's hair after they got out of the cave or whatever. It's like that dark makeup that she or the dark wig that she has. But then they put dirt on it and you can tell it's a wig (laughs) because it like it's like really matted and shiny and weird like how wigs look. That was my one beef. I was like, oof. I also loved everybody's floppy hats. Oh, yeah. They (laughs) They all had floppy hats. I was thinking, Tim, you need one. I do need one. You got that cape already. Yeah. True. It'll just it'll go well with it. Bringing we just, it back. We yeah. just gotta we should just gotta get make sure we get the same color so it matches. Sure. The sad part was I was also watching it saying we should make a comment about how Tim needs one of these hats. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of us talked about it, but we knew. It. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something ridiculous? Yeah, Tim needs it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need it. Yeah. I think it was one of yeah, the absolutely. furry Kidding. ones. It was like a hat and then it had the fur underneath and oh, I was yeah. like, oh yeah. Right. Oh hundred percent. And then, okay, let's see if Tim had the same thought as us. Um, so she gets all of the pieces of the child from Lily from Gustav when she assumed that Gustav actually killed her. So like the parts of the pig, right? Yeah, parts of the pig. And it's like, throw them in the stew. And she's just staring at Frederick while while he's eating. <laughs> did you have the sunny scene when Mac fed Dennis? Mac Dennis? Oh, <laughs> You're eating Dennis. No, I didn't. I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> oh, we just watched that episode. <laughs> yeah. So you're eating Dennis. Yeah. Had I seen it recently, I probably would. Have seen it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Something about her looking at him expectantly, this smiling, was like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Funny. I must say though, at the end when they're infiltrating the castle. To save the dad. And all the lights are mm. off. All the lights are off. I rolled when the doctor was defenstrated. Oh, yeah. It's just chucked I, out I just the love window. that word, defenstrate. Oh, yeah, defenstrate. To be thrown like, out a yeah. window. Why do we have yeah. a word for that? I don't know, but it Probably happens. happened a lot, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> Man, this guy got pushed out a window. Wish we had a word for that. We didn't have to talk about it all the time. <laughs> Pushed out of Captain a window is just too much. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. a defense? Look, he's been defenstrated. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounds so much worse than it is. It, yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound like being pushed out of a window. Yeah, I, I don't know. really know what it sounds like. But. We fell out a window. Um, <laughs> I um. Uh, there's like a mayor. There was. There's a city or town somewhere like in Italy, somewhere in Europe, where. The mayor was defenstrated, and then the replacement mayor also was then defenstrated, like years later. <laughs> like, See? I guess they had a system. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> the city had a system, and they're like, we're done with you. Go out the window. Yeah. And that is where we came up with the word for it. Maybe yeah. back in the day, they were always throwing people out windows when they exactly. didn't. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, you know, a thing. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's how you demote them, I guess. I don't know. There you go. But, um, t- <laughs> <laughs> and anytime it's possible for adam to use that word he's using it i love that word it's his favorite it's, vocabulary yeah. word it's like it's like a word that makes you sound smart but it's like <laughs> <laughs> a random fucking word <laughs> yeah it's just a it's word just completely right ra- there's no use for it most of the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly you mean like talking to somebody and like he's like oh yeah and he like oh the window demonstrated <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i do that i do that i didn't do anything <laughs> Uh, what does that even mean? It's like, it's like, I, why are you so defensive about this, man? <laughs> what? It's, why? Why are you coming at me? Defense straight. I'm actually surprised that that's not like a spell in Harry Potter. It sounds like it should. Oh, be. dude, it should. <laughs> be. That would be amazing. It, you just get a window that like apparates behind you, and you fall through it. Yeah. <laughs> are you like it? Like stuns them, and you walk over and like push them through the window no 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 no. it just it seeks out the nearest window and just what if the window just appears and just smashes it the window comes and hits him instead there you go there we go see jk rowling needed to you know consult with us hey she apparently she needed to look up better words i mean (laughs) harry potter can only do three spells it's fine (laughs) yeah (laughs) apparently um so let's talk about Rolf. Rolf was burned by Crusaders. Mm-hmm. Rolf 
has some deep thoughts with Rolf. <laughs> deep thoughts with Rolf? Never stare a raven in the eye. It'll take your soul. It's true. It'll take your soul. <laughs> <laughs> like, this movie has no right to have, like, a deep quote like that. No. But also, I kind of am not shocked it does. I feel like they were trying to make him be all, like, misty and mysterious. Oh, this was their moody, and... like, dark hero. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you have, like, the noble white knight hero that is standard with the doctor dude. But, like, it's awkward because, right. like, now it's, like, kind of gross. Like, I can't think of him as a white knight because I'm like, this is gross. Because he made he's out with Sigourney. Old, and he made out with Sigourney. <laughs> like, yeah. he's just not white knight material. But I know. that's what they were going for. I agree. But he also. I found it. Oh, go ahead, Tim. I was just going to change the subject, honestly. But, uh, no, you go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. So, Rolf also has insane speed and stamina because the man kept up with a fucking horse. <laughs> somehow oh you'll never find yourself a way back to the castle they depart by horseback somehow yeah. rolf is already there mm -hmm. yeah see i have a theory that they just kind of like she twisted and turned her way to that like chapel area but really if she would have went mm. in a straight line she would have made it back to the castle because like yeah. it just didn't it make sense that like she didn't just wander and like get back to the castle because i'm like you've lived here for a while your whole right. life. Your whole life. And you've never went in the woods? Like, even with yeah. your dude, your dad, not your dude. Your, your dude, dude. Or your dad. Your dwad. <laughs> your dwad. <laughs> your dwad? Like, what the <laughs> hell? I just don't believe it. So that was the one part that I was like, mm, this is a little bit iffy. But I think that's part of yeah. the tale in general that, like, she gets of lost terror? in the woods. The tale of terror? Snow White, yeah. <laughs> I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, Tim, you said you were going to change subjects. Uh, not really change subjects, but it was just on the thing about the raven. I've totally forgotten when all the trees are coming down and stuff. The one guy, real quick scene, just turns and fucking kills the raven. Dude, oh, right? Yeah. Like, out of all the shit that's going on, he's like that fucker right there. <laughs> I also loved um, Lily trying to pull the dude out from under the tree, and he's just sitting there hitting his shoulder against the tree. I'm like, yeah, he's other like way. wrapped around the branch. <laughs> other yeah. way, child. Yeah. Yeah. Or even old dude that's trapped other way. Like, why does it have to be all on her? She's, you know, a little girl, traumatic. He could have just, like, noped out on the side. Yeah. Wait, yeah, did they kill just both of the yeah. old people? They killed yeah. both old dudes. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> the one guy got buried in that guy. Somebody else died, too, though. Right? No. Maybe, Maybe just... not. The guy was excommunicado. Yeah, yeah, he, he just was, gets thrown uh, out of the gang. For, yeah. for no reason. Like, they should have probably ransomed her. <laughs> like, Well, he was going to do some naughty stuff. Oh, so. yeah, he was going to do some true grim stuff. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of, we were watching this film, and I was like, I don't actually know the true grim fairy tale version. Like, Oh, I do. Is this closer to it? Yes. I mean, obviously, the Disney version is never right, but like... Right. I don't know. I guess I was expecting this to be darker because they were touting it as like a truer version. Yeah. But it's kind of like the same. So uh, the one main yeah. difference, one major difference is, so she gets put spellbound and then Disney does it correct, puts her in a glass box. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then suddenly Prince, is it Philip or is it just the Prince? Prince Charming. Prince uh, Charming. Sure. Yeah. It's just the Prince, right? So his name is actually fucking Philip. Um which makes sense. It's a very German name. Um, so he finds her, wakes her up. It's like, hey, we're going to go get married in my castle. So fucking evil queen's running around dancing because she's like, oh, yes, I killed Snow White. I killed Snow White. Then finds out she's still alive. Shows up out on her wedding day. Oh. Mm -hmm. And however it happens, because I only read like the spark notes, the prince is like, who is like, he's like, you know what? You did so many bad things to my lady. You have to dance in red hot, red iron hot slippers until you fall over dead. Yikes. And that is how she dies. Wow. She has to dance for eternity. Hmm. That's crazy. Because Sleeping Beauty also has somebody that's not invited to something show yeah, up that's at Maleficent. a party. So like were the Grimm's dudes just never invited to parties? They just, yeah, they were just <laughs> wedding crashers. <laughs> like... <laughs> And that's fair like i don't know or maybe they had a lot of wedding crashers like something there's some sort of connection there yeah something there 
Yeah. And this was supposed to be the Black Forest okay. that they okay. were in. It was all done in um, Czech Republic, which was kind of cool because nice. we've been hmm. there. Yeah. <laughs> Not mm-hmm. Prague, mm-hmm. but nonetheless. No Trindlenecks? No Trindlenecks? Uh, no Turtlenecks <laughs> and Jane, man. Those were so good. They're so they good. are. <laughs> I mean, I thought that like Elsa's death was bad, but we didn't talk about the queen's death and how she gets glass to the face. Oh yeah, and then she gets Pretty burnt. Great. Like what the fuck? Well, and then it kind of goes along with this dancing on the hot. That's you know? true. Yeah, that's true. I also like how they did um the picture of Dorian Gray portrait of Dorian Gray. Yeah, like made her old once she saw her. Like the mirror was broken. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> I don't know Dorian Gray. Always exists in my head for that. They were like, eh, we got the old age makeup. Let's put Sigourney in it one more time. (laughs) But like, we're going to stop halfway. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Only half application. (laughs) (laughs) That was the test run for the scene later where they had to put the full application on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But the only other thing that I thought was funny was that the opening credit font is like the Lord of the Rings font. Yes. I was like, what? It's like very similar. It is. And I was like, ooh, that looks familiar because nobody else uses that <laughs> font ever. <laughs> it's like a fantasy font. Is it? it? Is. <laughs> like, if two fantasy things use it, it's automatically a fantasy font. Do you think it's on a list of fonts for like the opening credits where it's like fantasy and it's written in that font in fant- are it says you just fantasy? Going, are you doing this because of the SNL skit? No. <laughs> I forgot there was an SNL skit. There's on a whole Papyrus. Thing. On Somebody papyrus. should go look it up. Oh, it's funny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny. But that was all I had. All right. So, Sam, you were the first selector of this film. Oh, yeah. And I didn't even get to talk about why I wanted to select. Why do you select this one? I don't know. It sounded interesting. Duh. All right. <laughs> it was like the Easy. best expectations I've ever heard. I know, right? So original. Um, <laughs> no, but honestly, we did the log lines this season and I remember reading it and I was like, oh, Sigourney Weaver's in like a fairy tale remake and then i got really worried that it was like snow white and the huntsman or some random one that's happened recently and i just like yeah. didn't know that she was in it so i was glad that it was a completely different one once this was sam's got number one yeah i needed to know Dang, okay but tim had this as his number three yeah i was gonna say it sounded interesting right um well here's the thing like part of me i usually don't say this very often but part of me wishes this was made like recently because I'm just very right. curious how it would have been because it definitely has that old feel to it. Not that it stops me necessarily from watching movies, but like sometimes it kind of takes me out of it that I'm like, oh, I can tell this is old sort of thing. So like part of me wonders if it was made recently, if I would like it more. It's not that it's a bad movie. Mm-hmm. I just don't know that I would watch it again. Like, it's kind of like a one and done sort of thing. So for me, I'm going to flip it off. Um, But I do put it above (laughs) Alien Cubed. Like, I would watch it again (laughs) over that. But, like, I don't know. Like, I I was really on the fence about this one because I'm like, there's nothing really that's, like, bad about it. It's just not my cup of tea. No, I get that. And it seems like it should be. So that's why I'm also kind of bummed. Tim? Yeah, I... I was super into it until I watched it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this sounds cool. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney's gonna fantasy play. horror. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm all for it. And I was like, there's no horror. I was just kind of like, maybe back in the day it was, but I, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, wonder what this would be like now. Yeah. And I would like to see a, an iteration of it now, like as a horror like that. Um, but I, I'm with you. I just don't think I'd watch it again. I just don't have a reason to. There's and there's nothing to me that says, oh, that somebody should go watch it. Right. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm also flip it off, but it's actually going to go under Alien Cubed for me. Really? So okay. That's going to get bumped to nine. This is going to be ten. Mm, there you <laughs> go. Bring us home, Adam. Okay, so it sound like a broken record. Oh. <laughs> I too was like, this should be interesting. I knew it was going to be weird. Yeah. Like based off of the Weird's fine. Weird is fine. <laughs> like Mandy is weird. True. Right. But Mandy I liked a lot. Um this there were aspects of it that were good. It's not a bad film. Yeah. It's an all right film. So Gorney nails it, as is tradition. Mm-hmm. I mean, how she got nominated for an Emmy <laughs> for this movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a weird movie to be like, yeah, you got nominated for an Emmy for. 
Yeah. And Screen Actors Guild, like the SAG wow. Awards. Like she got nominated for TV movies. I mean, she did good. I know. So yep. like she did great, but like Sam Neill's hair, <laughs> um, that really freaked me out the whole time, man. <laughs> I just he I throws can, me off every time I see him on screen. To be honest with you, yeah. The only time I really am like, this is the man. Like he is who he is. Is Jurassic Park. Yep. <laughs> and Hunt for the Wilder People. Mm. Oh, okay. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Okay. Ricky Baker. Anyways, uh, yeah. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Uh, I will have it above Alien Cubed as well. Nice. Um, I think this is going to become a fever dream for us. Like in a, in a year, I'll be like, "Hey, you guys remember watching Snow White?" And they'll be like, "We didn't watch Disney Snow White, right?" <laughs> yeah, I'm like what? We didn't watch Snow White. So <laughs> that's kind of where I am. And again, not a bad movie, just not a great movie. Not one I'm. Yeah. Not, I'm like the Hotel Test. I'm probably not going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that people online like it so much because it's like it's odd to me because it doesn't like. It doesn't scream horror. Like it's you said, nostalgia. Tim, no. and like maybe it was like back in the day. It kind of reminds me of The Shining. Like I don't find that right. scary or creepy at all, but clearly a lot of people did back in the day. So it's like yeah. your vibe, Adam, is that like people watched it when they were younger and yep. they are still like scarred from it or something. Some people just love like you get attached to like movies you saw as a kid. Yeah. Or movies true. that were just right. on over and over. Mm. Like. Could- if you didn't, if you had cable or something and you needed to, you're like, oh, I'll just watch this. I liked it. Yeah. So. Yeah. But what were the scores? Critics gave it a 55%, audience a 56, and IMDb with a 6.1 out of 10. So kind of an agreement where it's an all right film. Yeah. So makes sense. Huh. Yeah. It's a head scratcher yeah. to me. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't really have anything bad to say about it, but I don't have anything good either. It's kind of just like. It was a movie. Truly in the middle. Yeah. All right. Let's flip to next week. Uh, we have two films remaining. One for Tim, one for Sam. Who's it going to be? Sam. <laughs> I was right. It's actually Dave. That's me. Yeah, that is Sam. <laughs> the movie is called Dave. <laughs> called it. I knew it because I, I think I know what my last one is. <laughs> Yeah, we got to do Tim's last one, and it's going to wrap it up after that, which is wild. Yeah, I can't believe we're already almost through springtime with Sigourney. I feel like this right. season went a Nick lot felt faster. Like it went, yeah, yeah, Nick felt slow, but yeah. Which is weird because they're only one, like we watched one more film with Nick Cage. That's what I was going right. to ask. Did we watch more? But no, no. I guess not. He just had more uh, ones His- where either he was shitty or the movie was really shitty. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> and regardless of him being shitty in it, he worked. He did his work. He tried. <laughs> That's true. All right. I'll yeah. always respect him for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're doing springtime with Sigourney. And then what are we doing after that? Well, there's going to be two surprise films. Um, so in between this season and season eight, which is going to be the season of House of the Dragon. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to there's going to be some fun bingo and betting yeah. going yes. on during that season. Uh, but in between, we're going to do two films to get us there. And I'm not going to, I'm once Tim is ready to watch it, I'll text him what movie it is and Sam, I'm just going to turn it on. So they weren't, they're not going to know what movies we're watching till we're watching it. <laughs> what the fuck? Perfect. I don't remember signing up for you this. You did it. That's the best part. <laughs> I'm sure I did. <laughs> you really didn't. I just told you that if you had looked at our spreadsheet, it said top secret. Oh, I'm wow. pretty sure, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> So this is I remember bringing that up and you're like, it's top secret or something like that. Yeah. I was like, you'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We're just truly along for the ride at this point. Tim Adam is <laughs> running so. this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I got, okay. I got stuck in the driver's seat. Yeah. You <laughs> like it. Oh, I know. <laughs> he gets to be like, they're just going to watch whatever I say. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I just wanted to take a minute to thank you all for listening to us. We're so grateful that every five to seven of you decides to tune in with us on Thursdays at 1 p.m. We really 
It gets our little hearts to flutter. And we're so thankful that you're here. So let me just steal your ear for a few more minutes while I talk about some of our social media. Social media, we have it. We're on Instagram and that new thing called Threads. Although by the time you hear this, I don't know if it'll be new. Either way, the user handle is FlipperFlix. Very easy, very simple. We also have a website called FlipperFlix.com. You see the simple thing? We really like it. We like to try to, to make it as easy for you as possible. On the website, you can see our bios. Read a little bit more about the two, three, five, ten. No, there's just three of us. Crazy people on this podcast. Read a little bit about us, the little amount we're willing to share with you. And uh, read about some of the categories. Depending on the season, there's different categories. So if you missed one but you think it sounds really excellent, you can go ahead and check it out and be like, crap, let me go look for that one in the episode titles. The last thing and most important thing on the website is that we do recommendations. There's a little contact form where you can throw us a bone, throw us a movie recommendation. We promise we will try to watch it in a timely manner. And yeah, once we watch it, we kind of link it to the to the website so you can see and come back to it and keep checking to make sure your recommendation got viewed and chit-chatted about. If you don't like the website angle or the social media angle, you can do the old school angle and you can email us flipperflicks at gmail.com. That's right. We have the email. Go ahead and give us a recommendation or just write us a love letter about how much you enjoy our voices. Or maybe you can write us a hate letter about how much you're like, God, you guys ramble too much. Like, get it together. Either way, we'll be happy to hear from you. What else? What else? Well, we would love for you to like and subscribe on whatever podcasting platform that you're listening to us right now. Like I said, we're very thankful you're here. So anything you can do to just let us know you're out there, we would really love it. Like, subscribe, review, and there's plenty of places you can do that. Apple, Spotify, Google. If you're listening to us right now, you kind of know where to do it. So we'll leave it in your hands to make sure it gets done. Also, if you haven't figured it out by now, we drop episodes every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to tell right when the episode drops because it'll come into your queue. So please go ahead and do that so you can listen to our ramblings every week. We would be eternally grateful. That's it.